what is up youtube this is your boy be nice coming to y'all again with another video today the video is going to be on the friday fright collection event packs all right so obviously i have all 24 of the 24 items unlocked so that means i definitely received the heirloom for lifeline her melee weapon the shock sticks and i will say that these shock sticks make making that purchase for all of these skins more worth it uh i will go into quick detail about all of the items that i have for this event i know a lot of you guys already know about it but i'm just going to give you guys like my idea well not my idea but like my thoughts on each and every one of the items in this collection series and then i'll let you guys know whether or not i like it or not so stay tuned rock with me and here we go All right, so first off, uh, I will let you guys know that if you have or haven't purchased any of the event packs, these event packs do guarantee that if you purchase 24 of these packs that you will get all of the items for this uh, collection. However, it doesn't necessarily mean that every item that you get will be from this collection. You can get regular rare items, you can get regular epic items, and then you can obviously get different items that are legendary from before so like if you don't have a legendary wraith skin like i had a couple of legendary wraith skins but i got a wraith skin that i haven't had before uh you can get bloodhound skins you can get pretty much any kind of skin so it's like the random number generator you can get any skin that is in the game as a legendary or whatever it's just random so i got lucky and got a couple of randoms for a couple of guns and character skins and everything so i was pretty happy with it so uh that kind of made it a little bit easier for me to justify making the purchases for this event but uh without further ado let's go through each of these items for this collection and then i'll let you guys know what i think of it let's go all right so first up we have the ghouls and ghosts epic scan for the peacekeeper i am not a person that will see a peacekeeper and pick it up uh that's just not my thing uh i know a lot of people love shotguns especially if you're a close quarters uh fighter but i'm just i'm not, I'm not a big fan of the peacekeeper but i've been running the eva 8 a lot this season and i will say that i like the eva 8 um but as far as skins i think that this is pretty dope i felt like the the glow in the dark ghosts and everything on this peacekeeper skin is pretty legit i will give this one a thumbs up just for effort but it's not one of my favorite they definitely have better skins uh that they could have added to this but for an epic item i think it's pretty cool all right <laughs> the jack-o-lantern weapon charm this is one of my favorite charms for the event uh i like carving pumpkins i actually have a couple of pumpkins that i need to carve myself before halloween uh shows up but you know what uh i'm a big fan of this weapon charm that is a thumbs up for me all right so the winged menace watson skin pretty much this skin is just a watson skin with black hair mascara lipstick uh, and a couple of Batman looking symbols thrown on her. Uh, they didn't put too much effort into this skin. Uh, I mean, it is an epic, but I felt like they could have did a little bit more for her uh, as she is one of the characters that a lot of people do main a lot. Um, but uh, as far as like the skin and everything, it, it, it's all right, it's all right. Uh, is it one that I would like to run on my uh, character that much? No. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, as you can see, I have Sweet Dreams equipped. That is probably my favorite skin that she has so far in this uh, uh, on the game. But that's just me. Um, this this one's eh, not that great. Thumbs down. All right, we got this Crypto Banner Pose, uh, Creature of the Night. This is a dope, <laughs> a really, really dope uh, banner pose. I am a big fan of them making Crypto a vampire in the first place for this season. And I will say that this is this is pretty cool this is legit uh, i would give it a thumbs up they definitely put a lot of thought and effort into this banner pose and i think that this is worth every little penny uh that you pay for it uh thumbs up all right next up we have the flatline weapon skin called hollows eve all right so i've been running the flatline a lot lately uh I don't know it's just one of those guns that i i think it hits hard uh especially with the added hop up for the anvil receiver this is a gun that i i thoroughly enjoy a lot more uh this season than i did in past seasons uh this is a skin that i think is pretty cool they got like the little jack-o-lanterns like 
hollow hologram whatever things like on the guns and everything and i think it's pretty dope i like the colorway i like what they did with it i actually like the fact that they have like this like midnight blue looking color on this gun as well like i'm a big fan of it it is definitely one of those skins that you pick up in the game you got to inspect your weapon every time because i think it's pretty cool uh this is a thumbs up for me I am a lifeline main by default. Like I ran a lifeline when I started playing uh, in season one. And then, well, I played a couple of games in season one, but season two, I mained her heavy. Like most of my wins came when I was lifeline uh, for season two. I will say that they definitely could have did better for her skin for this event. Like I felt like they just they just threw a bunch of like spider webs and stuff on her and said hey we're gonna call it a day uh i joked with my buddy and said that hey like this lifeline skin makes her look like gamora uh, from guardians of the galaxy and uh I, I'm, and i'm gonna stick with that she definitely looks like gamora from guardians of the galaxy like look at her like the skin is cool and all but like i just think that they made her gamora uh, and for that alone like i i think that it's kind of cool that they made her skin green but ultimately like i'm just not a am not a huge fan of of this skin at all i felt like they definitely could have did a little bit more creative things with lifeline during halloween but that's just me thumbs down if you're like me and you drop <laughs> pretty much anywhere you're gonna see a p2020 like hands down that's gonna be one of the guns that you're gonna see now uh since it has the hammer point rounds hop up and everything like that i think that this gun is actually one of the most underrated guns in the game but that's just me uh, i actually probably prefer it over the re45 just because i don't know it just feels like it's an easy handle like it, it's one of those guns that if you use it correctly you can shred through some people for sure i love the fact that they have like the splattered painted uh, spider web on it and then it has like the little hologram uh, going towards the barrel and then the little spider-man ish looking symbol on the back of the gun on the handle like i love this skin like i think it's pretty dope uh quick easy and efficient gun especially if your opponent doesn't have any uh shields so yeah uh this is a thumbs up for me we got the gibraltar banner pose regalvanized it, they put batteries in this man and now he's ready to go um, I think the skin is pretty cool. It's a Frankenstein-ish uh, uh, banner banner pose, but um, I like it. Thumbs up. It's nothing nothing too crazy. It's simple. It's easy. We got a little Nepspur uh, weapon charm here. I think that the weapon charms that they added onto this game is pretty cool. Like Nepster is going as a uh, <laughs> he's going as a uh, a ghost for Halloween. He's going trick or treating. So I think it's pretty cool. It's a little cute little addition to uh, your deadly weapons. So I I think that this kind of it's, it's just cool. It's cool. I like it. I like all the weapon charms. There, there's not a weapon charm I don't like. I don't think so. Uh, this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Thumbs up. We got the long boy. <laughs> Actually, the long bow. Uh, pumpkin parlor weapon weapon skin uh i'm not a big fan of longbow uh that's just one of the guns that i just typically don't run uh when i'm playing like i'll definitely opt for a different different gun uh such as the triple take if i have to have a sniper um but i will say that they definitely put a little bit more effort into this one than they did in other ones like i definitely love the like pumpkin ish like design on the gun i like the colorway i like everything about it i'm just not a big long boy fan uh, i know a lot of people will tell me that i'm tripping but you know that's just me cool skin thumbs up ghoulish garden uh spitfire uh weapon skin i think that this is pretty cool it reminds me of new orleans for some reason like a mardi gras type of sinister like witchy type of thing like it's a cool weapon skin it's not my favorite spitfire skin but it is one that eh you know it'll get a pass i like it i like the gold i like the green i like the blue it's a cool one thumbs up moonlight bash for the eva 8 auto this is probably one of my favorite skins like in this entire event for this gun like the eva 8 is a gun that i've been running a lot more lately uh specifically because they added the uh hop up to it um the double tap hop up i like it it hits hard it hits fast and it's ultimately as effective as a peacekeeper in my in my opinion like i definitely love the skin i love how they have like the skulls and everything going up on the gun like the hollow hologram whatever I love the the spine chilling little creature that they have painted on the gun. I love the colorway that they went with. Like this gun is pretty dope. Look at it. This skin, whew, 
this is the A plus scan for me, especially with the Eva 8. Like, I'm so happy that they did this. Even a lot of the other legendary Eva 8 scans are, I'm just not a big fan of, but for some reason, I really enjoy this epic, um, this epic Eva 8 scan. So this is a thumbs up for me. I am not a fan of this gun. Like I see what they did. I see what they're trying to do. Like this actually matches the Wraith skin. Um, but I just, I don't care. I don't care for this skin. Like this is a ugly skin to me. I know a lot of people would disagree, but that's just my opinion. I do like the little pumpkins and everything that they have on the front, like the frowning, like jack-o'-lanterns and everything. And I do like the fact that they have like the, whatever these witches, like I forget what it, like, the little potions and everything on the side of the gun but ultimately like the the cosmetic and aesthetic look at this gun is just not for me like i don't care like i'm running like different scans for this gun and this this ain't it chief this ain't the one for me dog the crypto deadly bite skin he is definitely count dracula this skin makes crypto look like he's from the 1600s, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But I will say that this is one of the dopest skins uh, from this uh, collection for sure. Like the fact that they made crypto like this evil vampire thing. It's, it's fitting. Like I feel like crypto is a little bit of a handsome character. So they probably picked the most handsome character to be Count Dracula. And I think that they they hit it, hit it on the head with this one. Like this is a pretty dope skin. I don't really run crypto too much to actually enjoy the skin, but what they did with it, like I, I definitely enjoy it. Like it's pretty cool. I felt like they could have easily made uh, Mirage Dracula too, but I feel like it's more fitting for crypto as well. Old Town Road, I mean Old Town Legendary skin from Mirage. <laughs> I see what Respawn did there. They're capitalizing on uh, Lil Nas's X uh, fame and the ability for him to keep a chart top and single. They made a uh, Mirage into a cowboy. He's definitely going down that Old Town Road. Uh, I like the skin. It definitely, uh, it definitely fits his personality for sure. Uh, I ran Mirage a lot early in the season just because of all the open spaces, so you need to evade a lot of people. I think that this skin is pretty cool for him. Uh, it reminds me of Old Town Road as well as Woody from Toy Story. So uh, it could go either way, but I definitely, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm a fan of this. Uh, I'm a fan of this skin. So this is a, a thumbs up for me too. Ooh, 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 the Havoc Living Dead Weapon Skin. Now, this is pretty dope. I felt like they put a lot of thought into this weapon skin. Uh, I just feel like they need to put a lot of thought into keeping this gun from having so much freaking recoil. Like, I hate the recoil on this gun. It is ridiculous. But it can definitely shred some people for sure. And as you can see, they definitely have this thing stitched up from a shredded living thing or whatever it was uh you can see the like frankenstein monster on the side of the on both sides of the the gun and then uh it looks like the ammo cartridge is actually a heart so that kind of makes this weapon skin cool within its own and then obviously you got the flesh and everything going up and down it i think that this is a cool uh skin for this gun but thumbs up protector of the patch this is a legendary bloodhound skin my buddy will call him blood hawk but this is this is this is it dog this is a cool skin bloodhound wow i love this skin i love everything about it i love the fact that they made bloodhound dope like this like this is cool man look at it look at it oh my goodness like i'm a big fan of this skin like they got the the tree and hay and everything in his chest it's coming out of his shoes and his knee pads and then he has the jack-o'-lantern head the crows still love him even though he's a scarecrow i don't know why but <laughs> this is dope i love it i love it cool skin two thumbs up for me the Mastiff Weapon Skin, the Boom Stick. I'm a big fan of this. Like, you got some cards. You got like a, what's that, a chicken foot. <laughs> you got some voodoo things on here. You got pins and needles and all that cool stuff. You got feathers. You got hay. And then if you look real closely right here on the right side right here, you got a lifeline like, uh, what is it called? A voodoo doll. Uh, I think that this is a pretty cool skin. I love everything about it. And I love the fact that the name is called boomstick it is definitely a fitting name for this gun because this gun can wreck some people wow i love this skin two thumbs up this is sick it is called the loudmouth 
this wingman skin is dope i actually have this paired with the uh the pumpkin weapon charm so when you have it paired it looks like the wingman or the clown on this wingman has a earring so i think it's pretty dope he has an orange earring he's breathing orange and red fire this thing is dope this is a dope skin respawn y'all did yourselves on this one boy wow look at that this is this just just looks like a luxury weapon like it definitely has that legendary feel to it that's just me though i love it two thumbs up hey i'm opening up the scar <laughs> look at this gibraltar skin he's monster mash that's a play on that song the monster mash <laughs> we do a monster mash ah, <laughs> all right i'm not gonna bore y'all with my singing but this is a dope skin for gibraltar i will say that this is one of the coolest skins for this event uh i think it was pretty easy to make gibraltar like frankenstein for sure like look at him he's like reinforced he has a metal metal gun shield now he has a metal chest plate metal shoulder plate his head is kind of metal because someone bashed him upside of the head like this is a cool looking skin he actually if you look at him a little closer he looks like the incredible hulk if you ask me but this is a dope skin two thumbs up i like it i dig it <sighs> mistress of evil this wraith is to be paired with that triple take scan for sure and just like i felt about that triple take scan i'm just not a big fan of this uh this wraith skin nope breathe it in <laughs> this caustic skin the last laugh man this is this is dope this is dope this is clearly a play on it the clown look at him with the green hair the clown costume the laughing gas clown it's actually not laughing gas the only person that's going to be laughing is actually caustic because once he, you get hit with this gas you're going down fast pretty dope like it's a sinister scary clown face like he's in this oh man. like there are a lot of cool legendary caustic skins but like this is hands down one of my favorite caustic skins like Man, they outdid themselves with this one. Like, this one's getting two thumbs up and a toe up if if I can. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm really impressed with this one. This is pretty dope. This is dope. This is a dope skin. The Wild Ride. It looks like this one is supposed to go with that Mirage skin, uh, obviously, because he's a cowboy and this one has a horse on it. It looks like pretty much like a horse with a saddle and everything. I'm not a big fan of the Prowler. Uh, there are a lot of other guns that I'd rather uh, waste my energy with trying to kill people with instead of the prowler uh too much recoil too much ugh. i just I, honestly i don't like the way that this gun looks it is a ugly looking gun and i just don't care for it i don't care this is an ugly gun i don't like the skin thumbs down for me all right and last but not least we have this bangalore skin la katrina now this is obviously a day of the dead skin and i'm a big fan of of it like they couldn't have picked a better character to make uh, a day of the dead character out of like i think that this is pretty dope she's like him she's a skeleton she's back from the dead she's ready to cause some havoc on some people you know she's gonna let it rain you know yeah this is this is dope this is dope i like it two thumbs up thumbs up so I just want to show you guys one more thing before I finish this. I want to show you guys the loadout that I have with this actual um, with the wingman because I, I know I mentioned it, but I just want to show you guys how it looks with the uh, with the pumpkin there. Like, look at this, man. Like the wingman has an earring and the earring is a pumpkin. Like, how dope is that? Right. That is pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. All right. So that is all I have for you guys in this video. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like, comment and subscribe because I would definitely be having more videos like this. I'm actually thinking about making a video for like the Christmas event that I think that they're going to be releasing and my idea of what they are probably going to do for skins for all of these different characters for that event so uh stay tuned for that uh so again thank you guys for watching the video and as always have a good one and this has been a rendition of facts no printer all right peace